Of course, it would be a more exciting race if there was more than one candidate. Uh-oh, what's this? A dark horse candidate? I'm Moto Toto, supervillain and running for mayor of Townsville. A vote for Moto is a vote for evil geniuses everywhere. This has been a paid advertisement by the Bananatarian Party. This is Stanley Whitfield, live outside Townsville City Hall, where the mayor continues to run his Free Pickles for Free People campaign. The Free Pickle? The Free Pickle, anyone? Yeah. It looks like the Free Pickle is going to split the banana campaign right down the middle. Horses, the mayor is still leading the election. There must be a way to... Of course! <laughs> With these subsonic neuron transference helmet headsets, mayor voters will turn into mojo voters, resulting in my winning the election! Allow me to demonstrate. Vote for Mojo Jojo! Mojo is your friend! Everybody loves Mojo Jojo! Vote for Mojo Jojo! Mojo is your friend! Everybody loves Mojo Jojo! Mojo is your friend! these helmets upon your heads and head off to Townsville so that I, Mojo Jojo, might be victorious! Yeah? What's in it for us? If I become Mayor Mojo, I will appoint you as my secretaries of junk food, graffiti, and littering. You got yourself a deal, Mayor Mojo! <laughs> <laughs> All right! <laughs> Let's hear what the average citizen on the street has to say. Excuse me, yes, you there. Care to tell the viewers at home how you voted in today's election? <laughs> oh, girls, this is very undemocratic.
Powerpuff Girls. Thank goodness you're here. Things are going crazy. There's all these folks running around. Looks like they've gone completely bananas. And on top of that, Mojo swiped the Townsville delivery trucks. And not only are they carrying the ballot boxes, they're carrying some of the finest pickles I've ever tasted. How are the people gonna get an honest vote? Or an honest pickle, for that matter? Mayor, let's worry about the ballot boxes first. Yeah, you have to be voted mayor, mayor. Otherwise, what will we call you? Enough talk. Let's pound some democracy into that meddling monkey. Hurry, girls. You'd better deliver these pickle-filled backup ballot boxes to the voting booths as fast as you can. And watch out for those weirdo citizens. Come on, girls. Let's go. One down, four to go. Keep it up, girls. You're doing great. Here's the last two! Here's the last one! You've got to hurry! The voting booths are going to open any minute! Well done, girls! That was some of the finest pickle distribution I've ever seen. And you know I know my pickles! Mayor, tell them about the professor. No, that's right. The professor just passed by here. He's flying over to see you. You just wait there and he'll be right with you. Oh, girls, thank goodness I found you. I've been monitoring the election, and Mojo has taken the lead. Hooray for Mojo! Excuse me, Bubbles? Well, it's nice he's doing good for once, right? No? I guess not. Bad monkey, bad! I've seen the gangrene gang running around town wearing some kind of transmitter helmets, which are emitting strange signals. My helicopter onboard sensors indicate that this might be the reason the citizens have been acting strangely. I need your help to find out who's masterminding this. I'll give you one guess. Girls, bring me one of those helmets, but be careful. My copter radar's picking up evil activities nearby. I'll transfer the exact coordinates to your wrist computers now. Hurry before the transmissions begin. I'll be at Townsville City Hall when you're done. There's a room there I can use for my research. We're on it, Professor! Hold it right there, Big Billy! Cut her out! Hold it right there, Big Billy! Powerpuff stop bothering me! I gotta get the speaker thing working or Ace is gonna be mad at me! Well done, girls! Big Billy's history! Let's get this helmet back to the professor! <laughs> uh. 
Great work, girls! Now, I need a second helmet to continue my research. You'll need to follow the directions I'm transmitting to your wrist computers. Watch out, though, girls. The helmet you're going after this time is already transmitting some dangerous sound waves. And it also generates extra energy that appears to be a force field. I think you'll need to destroy the audio output device first. Destroy the ideal outward do what? The loudspeaker, Bubbles. Consider it done, Professor! Huh. Make way for Bubbles! Give yourself up, Grubber, or you're gonna get a thumping! <laughs> Girls, you're doing great! With these two helmets, I can calculate the vectors of reception and plot accurate arcs to the emitter source. Will that hurt? No, no, Bubbles. But I should be able to find out who's at the bottom of this. Now, the rest of the gangrene gang will have to wait. The mayor needs your help. Hurry! Princess is trying to bribe the electorate to vote for Mojo by spreading bags of free money all over Townsville. You've got to stop her, or it may prove to be more popular than the mayor's free pickles campaign. Free money? Why didn't I think of that first? Got it! Come on, let's go catch us someone with more bucks than cents. Princess just tore out of town! Looks like she gave up on that little plan. Collect the rest of the money bags and you're all done. I'm no fear, Buttercup is here.
I was right. Those helmets the gangrene gang are wearing emit brain-altering radio transmissions through the speakers. If they manage to brainwash too many of Townsville's citizens, the results could be disastrous. You've got to stop the rest of the gang before it's too late. Okay, Professor. We'll go grab those gangrene goons. Time to knock out their airwaves. <laughs> You're breaking up, Arturo. Now it's time to break you up. See, si, it's gotta go deep. Ow, can you dance to it? You're breaking up, Arturo. Now it's time to break you up. Power pop goes. Hey, you love music? Listen to this. Better luck next time, Arturo! Hi, Carb! Girls, I've got it! By brainwashing the citizens, those helmet transmitters are making mojo voting monkeys out of our fine citizens. Oh, with all those monkey men running around town, mojo's sure to win the election! I didn't know monkeys could vote! Hurry, girls! You've got to stop Ace before he turns more people into monkey voters! You got no sense of rhythm. There's trouble all over. Those brainwashed monkey citizens are running amok, causing chaos and terrorizing the Townsville voters. Oh, you've got to put a stop to this monkey business. I'm sending the first location to you right now. Okay, Professor. Powerpuff Girls, it's time to vote. With our fists. Good 
work, girls. But there's trouble over at City Hall. More monkey citizens are terrorizing the mayor and preventing people from voting. You've got to stop them. We're on our way. No one makes monkeys out of Townsville citizens. Monkeys are cute, though. <laughs> to pound in some democracy. <laughs> well done, girls. You got all those poor people back to normal again. Well, it's time to see who voted for me. We just need to gather up those ballot boxes. But you'd better hurry, girls, or we'll miss the deadline for getting the votes to the counting office. We won't let you down, Mayor. We'll get to see if I can still be called the mayor. But if I lose, what do people call me? I mean, I've been mayor for so long, it's like old hat. <laughs> hat! If I lose, I have to give up my mayoral hat! Oh, hurry, girls, hurry! Girls, we've got another problem. Princess Morbux is on her way to City Hall with a convoy of trucks carrying ballot boxes. They must contain the monkey citizen votes. I'm sure she's in cahoots with Mojo trying to assure that he wins. Well, I won't stand for that. I'm still mayor after all. We gotta stop those vans or I won't have any place to put my porcelain poodle collection. What about democracy, Mayor? Oh, a good point. I won't have any place to put my democracy collection either. Hurry, girls, stop those vans. Is it just me, or does this all seem a little too familiar?
done it. After careful analysis and the use of my superior deductive reasoning, I've determined that the only criminal mastermind that could be behind this plot is none other than Mojo Jojo. Uh, gee, really? Wow, Professor, we had no idea. Really, right, girls? <laughs> Where is he, Professor? Well, by using the helmets to calculate the reception vectors and plotting accurate arcs to the emitter source, Professor. I... Oh, uh, it says that Mojo Jojo is in the vicinity of Central Park. Most likely it is Volcano Top Observatory. If you hurry, perhaps you can find him there and foil his plot once and for all. Sucker. But how could this be? My plans for tax reform and increased spending on education and the arts were brilliant! How could he beat me? What can we say? You just can't beat a free pickle. Free pickles? Free pickles? All the people of Townsville want are free pickles! Transmission intercepted. Free pickles? Free pickles? All the people of Townsville want are free pickles! By the almighty pickle, who is this great defender of cucumber kind? I don't know you, Dillness. He looks like one odd pickle. Well, at least he's green. Perhaps we have found a closer new world to colonize than our current destination, Jargon. Unleash the pickle pods. Targets, Townsville. This is Stanley Whitfield, live outside the new Townsville Pickle Museum, where today our mayor, the mayor, is just about to cut the ribbon on this historic day. Yay for me! The Townsville Pickle Museum is open! Pickle Smickle, I'm gonna go find me some real fun. Mm, free pickle. Uh-oh, looks like Mitch is in a pickle. Or is it a pickle that's in Mitch? Whatever. This looks like a job for the Powerpuff Girls. 